Welcome to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I am Helen. Mm. And we are the creative hands and minds behind, behind Toad Hollow, where we dye yarn to make bags. And um, today I am having I Love Lemon Tea by Bigelow because I have a slight throat, sore throat and this is doing wonders for it. I am having... I have no idea. Tea that our friend Heather sent us that's got berries and, and stuff mango in it. mango and hibiscus in it. Oh, it's so good. I'll write it. I'll put it down below. I am now putting on my glasses so I can actually see the screen. That's so sad. <laughs> we want to delve into that. Um, okay, so... Um, as we said, welcome to Toad TV. Uh, you can find us all over, because we did have a question about this. Um, on Ravelry, we are the Crafty Toads, so that you can find us there. So if you go to the group section, of, because somebody asked specifically how to find us on Ravelry, so if you go to the groups section of Ravelry and search the Crafty Toads, we will come up. We are there. Yeah. Also, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest as Toad Hollow and J. Our website is toadhollownj.com and we have a group on Facebook called Crafting with the Toads where you can come and join us. However, you do have to ask to join the group and then we go through and uh, let everybody pretty much in. Yeah. As long as you're not a robot. We got our you're first good. troll yesterday. Did we? Yeah. He, uh, he answered the question, what? Yeah. Decline. <laughs> Swipe right. <laughs> Is that except? I have no idea. I just see them on the, the commercials <laughs> on TV. So I have no idea. Is left good, right good? I don't know. Anyway, um, okay, so we do have a um, couple of questions came through as far as what do we mean by house when we were talking about telling us about your house? So if you are familiar with Harry Potter, um, or if you are unfamiliar with Harry Potter, this is all based around the Triwizarding Tournament that takes place in the Harry Potter books and movies. And when you go to Hogwarts, you are sorted into houses. There are four different houses that you get sorted into. And um, for those of us that are Harry Potter fans and really deep, deep down in our silos, really wish we had been accepted to Hogwarts, um, we have been sorted into say, a it's, house. It's part of our identity. You know which house you are. Right. Um, speaking of the Triwizarding Tournament, Somebody, who shall remain nameless, donated a bunch of prizes for the tournament. And does she want to be named? Nope. She uh, yes, she said anonymous. Okay. Um, they are stitch markers that are based around the wizarding world. Okay, I will pull some out. Um, so there's a wizard. There's um the house colors. There's Hogwarts. There's the lightning bolt. Um, there's the sorting hat, there's a cauldron, there's all sorts of really cool things. So like the, that's a Hufflepuff one, because it's got the red and, uh, the, oh my god, the yellow she, and the black. Look at you, Hufflepuff, <laughs> giving away the wrong thing. Um, the lightning bolt has got the Gryffindor colors of red and gold. Of red and gold. Very, very cool stitch markers. And who yeah. are they by? These are by Winemaker's Sister on Etsy. And we'll put the link down below to get to them. But it says, it came with a really cool tag that says, Merlin's Beard, hope your wizards and witches enjoy these. How pretty is that? She's got really beautiful handwriting. Um, so we do have, those are going to be prizes to give away. So a wizard. And then our anonymous donor also very nicely included a set of stitch markers for us that have that um, have little critters. There's a gnome. I love this one. Yeah, there's a gnome. There's a um, uh, mushroom. And Susan, this is for you because there's a squirrel. I don't know if you can see it. But there's a tiny squirrel. Uh, Franco is here because, yeah. There's a, a hedgehog, a fox. I mean, they are so cute. Here's the gnome. They're teeny tiny, but they're, oh, I love them. Yeah. Anyway, so thank and, you um, very much, Anonymous. I will um, 
put the link on the screen of where to get them too if you like uh, the stitch markers because they're really cool. Yeah, she's she did a beautiful job. And they're the um what's really good about them. So what's really great about them for stitch markers is the ring is a solid ring. There's no join. So there's nothing that's going to catch on your knitting or anything like that or ha let it slip stitches because every so often the gap grows a little bit bigger and it slips stitches and you're where you I think did that one time it, it's moved like 10 stitches right so um My raglan is like a zigzag because <laughs> i didn't realize it kept moving all yeah. over the place so um yeah they're really good stitch markers yeah thank they you are. very much thank you very much so that would go back away karen says please tell what is the yarn color at the end of the intro pink cream and white tan and brown gorgeous I knew when I put that up that that was going to come bite me. <laughs> it was just, it was a pretty picture. It was an old picture on my iPad. It is Hagrid's Umbrella from our Harry Potter collection. Um, it is not available right now, but it is on its way back. So um, that is the name of that yarn. So, okay. Stay tuned. Um, Kathy Clark says, what is the easiest way to find your dyed yarns that are not part of the collections? I am interested in the Drusilla based yarns, but can't find them. Thanks so much. Um, Drusilla is, your... is now sock toed. So I'm if you're kidding. searching Drusilla, okay. you're not going to find her. She is now sock toed. We changed right. it. Um, when we first started, all our bases were named after the animals and that got confusing because we couldn't remember which one was which. So you were there. It's okay. Um, but if you go to our website and hit collections, all our collections will show up and we do have a collection that is sock toed. We have a collection that's DK toed. So you should be able to see everything or you can see them by collection because there was also like Mrs. White's tea party. or whatever. Right. Because one of the other things that she asked in an email was Harry Potter yarns and we do have a Harry Potter collection. Right. So and in answer to that question, they are available now. So you can buy them now. Okay. Uh, the only thing I wanted to say was a friend, she said a friend had shown her the Harry Potter yarns. And if she, if your friend has shown you our Harry Potter uh, yarn of the month collection, those are not available. Those are only available in um, pre-orders. We are getting ready to finish up the second quarter. We do them in um, sets of three. So we had January, February, March. Now it's... April, May, and June, and next week we are dying the June collection, and that will be going out at the end of next week. Um, and then we will be opening up the third quarter, which will be July, August, and September. You have to buy all three together in one go, and then um, you get a very pretty yarn at the beginning of each month. And the yarns are exclusive to the clubs for at least three months. Right. So we, um, like right now in June, we could start releasing some of the first quarters um, and we probably will be doing owls behaving badly right yeah now. I would think so um, some are just you know they're one-offs we don't keep track we don't keep the recipe um, it's just a, it's a one-of-a-kind yeah thing so um, but yeah and then there are some that we just fall completely in love with um, this past May's yarn was Hermione Granger and that one's coming. That'll that one will be coming back yeah. later on in the year because I really love that. Um, but this particular quarter are the companions. So we are dying the third companion next week, and that will go out, and then there will be a new theme for right. the next group. Yeah. And it's all based around Harry's first year at Hogwarts. Right. I'm kind of thinking either teachers or classes. We had a whole plan. Which is neither <gasps> of those. You're right. That may be the fourth quarter. We had a whole plan that I forgot. That's very cool that we're going to be doing. Because when she said, uh, now I remember. Okay, never mind. We're good. Go ahead. <laughs> Carry on. All right, so. Um, all right. Then we had a couple of emails that um, Carol Woods says she wants to make the hi-ho shawl. But she's trying to decide if she wants to do it in two colors or minis in a main color. She doesn't want to knit in the seven dwarfs color. So she has two scenarios. Using potions, what tonal or solid would work with it? Start with that? Yes, all right. Okay. So now what she said was wolf or left-handed. 
So I think first hold it up with left handed and see. Don't you have left handed in your hand? I do. Do you want wool? Okay. <sighs> and now she's gonna move. <laughs> I had a cat sitting half on my lap. Okay. okay. So this is potions. It is a, a lovely variegated yarn. It's got greens, blues, purples, pinks, gold, and red. Um, so sh Carol Here's was talking about wolf, which would be really pretty. Or left-handed. Now I have the cat. Um, also I like very pretty. I like wolf better because wolf's got a gray tone, uh, yeah. undertone to it. Yeah, I like, I, it gave me left-handed. Okay. So if you're going with the browns, I think I would do wolf as opposed to left-handed. Yeah. Have, have we mentioned this is there. a circus? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Okay, so potions. If you're going with a brown, we say wolf. Okay. But if you're like me, and brown is not your favorite color, you could go with the little black dress and use Carrisford. For those of you pretty. that are new who are seeing this for the first time, <laughs> we call Carrisford our little black dress because it goes with everything and it fits in everywhere. Right. So Carrisford would work. Um, illusion would also work base with the whole, you know, wolf has a great undertone to it. That works. That's a, that's kind of toning it down. Carriage where it just pulls your greens out for right. you. Um, if you wanted a softer palette, once upon a time, that's going to pull out the purples. We'll pull out the purples and it's a softer color and it's not going to be as much of a contrast. Right. So you're going to, your, uh, sections will fade into each other more. You can do mer people. Just gonna pull out your blues and greens. And that's beautiful. That really is. That kind of gives it like a sea glass kind of look. I like that. Yeah. I could see this being like and then like the potions are almost like a stained glass. Right. And then there's Viper Tooth. And I just have a mini of Viper Tooth, but Viper Tooth, like Wolf, would be a complete contrast because this particular blue is not in this potions with uh, Carrisford and Once Upon a Time. And Mer People even. And Mer People even. Those colors are within potions so that there will be sections where it kind of blends, which it, it all depends on what you like. Mary Beth and I are both more blendy, impressionist kind of thing. But if you want the stark contrast, I think Wolf and uh, Viper Tooth are your options. And then, if you want it really stark, you could do the circus. Yeah. The circus only comes at night, and that will definitely look stained glass. Yeah. Because you're going to have the black, like the black leaded lines along the edges of the stained glass, and that, if that's the kind of thing that you want. However, that is going to be a lot of black if yeah. you're doing the high ho so that, um, yeah. unless that's going to be your stripes, and then if uh, potions is your main color, then it's going to be lots of speckles yeah. and um, stripes of black in, which could be pretty. However, some of those stripes are kind of thick, so it depends on how you feel about it. Right. I'm not a fan of putting black in my knitting. Yeah. I like softer, pastel-y, um, I don't like the dark, dark tones. So for me, that wouldn't work. But for you, that may be exactly what you're looking for, and then the circus only comes at yeah. night might be a good idea. Okay. Um, then she also said she's also thinking about the Princess Bride. And what would we use in with the Princess Bride? So here is the Princess Bride knit up. And what I would do if I were doing it is I would do the main color in I'm Not Really Left-Handed, which is one of the Princess Bride colors, and then I would do the stripes in the other five remaining colors. So I would use brown as my base, and then use the colors as... And that's just um, going to be like this, a lovely, soft... Right. Medium. However, you could do this 
with any of the colors. So if you're a gray person yeah. and you want to do it all in um, um, have fun storming the castle and then use the rest of the five as your stripes, that would be very pretty. Or if you're pink and you decide you want to do it in Mowage and do the rest of the stripes in different colors, the different colors right. as part of the kit, then you would get Mowage as your main color and go from there. So I think any of these would be beautiful. And I think you could... If you wanted to. So New, New Jersey Beaches would be a good one if you wanted to use all six of the colors as your stripes. Then New Jersey Beaches, it's not quite white. Right. Um, so And it's got a, a sandy look to a it. A sandy look to it. And these have a muted look. So it's like a muted white with the, the muted colors. That would be really all. pretty, actually. Yeah. So um, if you wanted your stripes to really pop, New Jersey Beaches would work. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. I believe that is it. We just want to say hi to Angie and her husband because uh, she sent us a, an email saying that she and her husband watch us during their lunch hour, which I thought was very sweet. Well, thank you very and much. Thank you. So. <laughs> Okay, so um, I think that does it for today, right? Yeah, I think we are off. Yeah, we're off to do our work. We will see you. It has cooled down quite a bit. So, uh, but today is gorgeous. Today is a San Diego day. Yep, it is absolutely gorgeous. So anybody who's down here for the beach today, enjoy yeah. it because it is beautiful. I mean, everything is just crystal clear. The wind shifted and it is just, the swamp is gone. Yep. It was yep. less than 24 hours and we're good. Yep. All right. We hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Hey. We're back. Because <laughs> now we really can't shut up. We forgot to mention something. So Jen sent us a package with some cross-stitching stuff and some tea, which, oh, oh my God. Yeah. Like David's tea. Oh my God. Um, and celestial <laughs> season needs all sorts of lovely things. But then there was something in one of the David's teapots we that didn't even know existed. We didn't know existed. And I'm 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 really I I don't know how I don't know right. that this exists. I I don't think it exists here. Have you seen these? Guys, it's fudge brownie M Ms. Think of a peanut M M and instead of a peanut, there's a brownie. Oh my god, they're so good. Oh, this is our public service announcement for today. <laughs> How did we not know about these? There are M&M's with brownies inside. <laughs> Magic has been returned to the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it for real. That's it. Bye. Have